Hey guys, welcome to day 13 of the challenge. And today we're gonna to be talking about something that nearly all of us are deficient of most of the year, if not all of the year. And before we get started, I just wanna put it out there. I am not a doctor. I don't play a doctor on TV and I'm not claiming that you need to run out and start supplementing your diet with what we're gonna talk about today. I do however just wanna present you with some facts on research I've done and hopefully that'll help you make better decisions about your health. So let's get started. Today we're talking about vitamin D. Now you've probably heard about vitamin D deficiencies all over the news. It's becoming quite um, a story um, because a lot of us are sick and not getting enough of it, particularly if we live in seasonally or in seasonal areas. So something that's always on my mind is just how far removed we are from the state of life we were supposed to live, especially when that comes to our diet. Now vitamin D is a classic example of this because we are meant to spend some time in the sun every day and we're meant to eat foods that are whole and organic that would provide us these sources, but we're not. So this is why supplementation is so important. So today I'm going to go over some facts about vitamin D, uh, which is otherwise called the sunshine vitamin. I'm going to go over the benefits of it, risks of deficiency, and what we need to be doing to make sure we're getting enough. So first of all, some facts. We all feel our best after we're outside for a workout in the sun getting fresh air. Fact. Second fact, we are less sick in the summer and we're more happy in the summer. This is no doubt because our vitamin D levels typically drop about 50% in the winter. We have had the sunscreen message drilled into us for so many years that we're scared really to go outside without sunscreen and you're hard pressed to find a product that you'll put on your body that doesn't have sunscreen in it. The interesting thing is the use of sunscreen lately has been coming out in studies to show links to cancer. How's that for ironic, Alanis? So that is not cool. We need to make sure we're getting outside in the sun and that we are not having all of our skin protected, but that we're reaping the benefits of the sun. I'm going to put a link on the bottom of the blog also to a natural sunscreen you can make at home. Um, if you'd like to go that route, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to give it a try myself. Another fact, your body cannot produce vitamin D, so it is an essential vitamin. There are actually over 35 vitamin D receptors in your body, meaning your body is just waiting for you to give it the vitamin D it needs so it can get on with the show. If you are older, overweight, have darker skin, and or live in a seasonal climate, you are at more risk of deficiency than your younger, healthy-weighted, light-skinned Californian friend. So signs of deficiency. You're commonly sick, more in the winter probably. You have mood changes commonly in the winter. You have a lot of cavities and lack of energy and just generally tired all day. Risks of deficiency of vitamin D, the first one that always comes to mind is obviously rickets. Now rickets, um, which is a softening of the bones in, in children so that they don't form properly because calcium is not being absorbed, this was combated by major fortification of our foods with vitamin D, particularly in cereals, breads, and milk. Um, another thing that's a common deficiency in adults is again those soft bones and you're more at risk for osteoporosis. So the benefits of having enough vitamin D in your diet or through the sun are a healthy immune system because your body now is producing a lot more white blood cells. Studies have actually shown proper vitamin D levels in the body to be a better um, protector against the flu than the flu shot itself. You'll have increased cardiovascular health a reduced risk of depression, or what we often hear about is SAD, which is seasonally affective disorder. Your cancer prevention has gone way up as well with proper vitamin D levels, specifically in combating breast cancer, prostate, and colon cancer. You'll have strong, healthy bones, and this uh, vitamin D also promotes blood sugar absorption, which is especially important for diabetics. So how do we get it? So again, 15 minutes is all you need in the sun of unprotected sun exposure, no sunblock, if you're worried about not having that leather bag face look, then just protect your face with a hat or some sunblock and keep your limbs exposed. Um, if you are that darker skinned, heavier person that I spoke about, you're going to want to get closer to 40 minutes per day. Glass blocks UVB um, absorption, which is what you need for vitamin D levels, but it does not block UVA, which means you're going to get sunburned without the benefits of vitamin D absorption. So you cannot get vitamin D absorption through your car while you're driving to work. If you want to do it through your diet, you're going to focus on eating egg yolks, cod liver oil, which my own mom swears by. Um, vegans, you're going to look for fortified dairies, cereals, tofu, shiitake mushrooms, and white beans. Keep in mind, we typically only get between 200 to 300 IUs of vitamin D through our diet this way. 
we know we need approximately between 1 and 3,000 IUs per day. That's what most doctors are recommending. But many studies are showing that we can take it towards the upper level of 10,000 IUs a day. So it's really hard to get it through diet alone. Now sun exposure gives us almost um, 10,000 IUs in that 15 minutes of time. So we know this is a safe upper limit to go towards. Um, most North American guidelines, like I said, are on the lower end. Now there are a lot of studies coming out that are recommending that higher end, but I think that if the sun gives us that 10,000, we can you know, pretty much go higher to that number. Special notes for pregnant and breastfeeding mamas, you, your needs are a lot greater. So if your baby is a 100% breastfed, it's not getting the fortification that typical dairy and formula has. So you wanna make sure you're supplementing towards that higher end as well. Um, through my research, a lot of studies are suggesting anywhere between four and 6,000 IUs if you're breastfeeding and or pregnant. Um, so how do you know what you need? There are specific tests you can go through. Now in Canada, it used to be a lot easier to request a blood test through your doctor to get your levels tested. I had my own tested about six months ago, and when I asked my doctor what my number was, he said I was on the low end, but he said basically everybody's on the low end. They are not allowing these tests to be run quite so easily anymore until you show signs of severe deficiency. I'm gonna put a link on the blog to a test you can actually order. It's about $60 if you wanna test your own out but it's pretty much safe to assume that you are on the low end, so that's why supplementation is key. When you're looking for a supplement, most vitamin D bottles are gonna give you 1,000 IUs per tablet. There are different forms. You can um, you buy it in a multi, you can buy it on its own. Often fish oils come with a vitamin D added into them. There's also a product called D-Drops, which is really great um, and easy to administer to children. They have a product even for babies. Um, so take a look out there and you know obviously the most important thing is that you talk to your doctor about what I've talked about today or any research you've been doing before you start supplementing but it is a very safe thing to take knowing that we are all on the low end start off with 1000 per day go in and see if you can get your blood levels tested by your doctor or order a kit and see where you're at so that's really your challenge today I really want you to get outside and get some sunshine even though you know, it's cold in many parts of North America right now. Pop on that really cute toque, go for a walk, the fresh air will do you good, and if you have a little bit of your skin exposed, you're gonna get the benefits of the vitamin D absorption. So that's it. Um, tomorrow I'm coming up with a challenge for a fun date activity to start off your weekend, so I'll see you then.